So in this video we're looking at using HiFX to make a money transfer, an international money transfer. And if we just have a look at exchange rates at the moment, so the current rate that I would get with HiFX is 1.1488. And the bank that I am with, if I went with them, it would be 1.1087. So if we look at that on a spreadsheet, current rate 1.1488 for exchange in 24,000 Australian that would give us that amount in New Zealand. Now the, at the bank rate, <clears throat> we would be nearly a thousand dollars worse off. So you can see it's a pretty significant reason to use something like HiFX. But we can set up a, an OCO, a one cancels the other trade, uh, and aim for a higher rate. And if we got that higher rate, let's say 1.16, we'd be nearly $300 better off again than the current rate. So the most significant thing is that to use high effects over the bank rate, but then you can hedge your bets and uh, aim for something better. So let's look at how to do that. If we go back out of here, of course you need to set up an account, and once you sign in, then you can you can see all this sort of stuff. If we have a look at the, the currency tools, you see the actual live rate changing before your eyes, and you can see graphs of what's been happening with exchange rate over time. This isn't the rate you get. I'm assuming this is the, the actual rate and, and high effects takes a small cut of that. But anyway, that sees the, um, the rate changing. If we want to make an OCO order, a market order, <clears throat> you can either phone them up and do it over the phone or I kind of like doing this. So create new order and we're going to choose an, a one cancels the other order. So my currency is Australian and I'm sending it to New Zealand. It's all pretty straightforward. And then I'm putting in 24,000. And so this is the current rate. Wow, that's just jumped up. So 1.1515, 1.1515. That means we're actually over a thousand dollars better off than the bank rate. So that's just jumped up a bit. Um, so my limit rate, if I put 1.16 down here, 1.14, then so what this does is it sets the order in motion and it will be triggered. The order will be triggered if either the rate hits 1.16, in which case we're going to be $200 better off than the current rate. Or if it drops below 1.14, or hits 1.14, then it will also trigger, in which case would be 200, nearly $300 worse off. So I might actually do, I might bring that up, I might make that 1.145. And that's, that's how that works. So, you need to read the terms and conditions and so on, and then you create new order. That will then send me an email. Here is the new order. And if I wanted to edit that, um, I can just go in and I can change I can change these at any time. And you can I can also cancel the order. And that's pretty much how it works. The other side of this is that I have an account with HiFX, so once the trade does trigger, then I transfer money to their account and I also need to give them information as to where I want the money to go in New Zealand. So that's how it works. Um, so this market order has been created but I'll show you what I did a little while ago. I've just gone in and opened up that order and that had jumped a bit during the day. It started off about 1.151 so it's getting close to the 1.16. Um, so I raised this, this was 1.14, so I've taken that up to 1.15. And that's the sort of thing you can do, you can modify this. Since the last recording, I made payments, and you simply do that by following the information in the HiFX market order executed email. Now if I go into transactions, 
Here's the current transaction. We can see that the um, the money's come across and the full balance has been received. This morning that was a double. That was a cross. Now they've received the full money, and um, this one I paid as a ten thousand, a ten thousand, and a four thousand. So um, that was fine. I gave them a call though, so they extended the uh, the range on this one. So that's all fine. And then when it when the payment is sent by HiFX to the recipient account, which is the New Zealand one. Um, that'll become a, a tick. And there's balances in here. You can uh, check your check your history and whatever. So that's it. That's pretty much how HiFX works.